Hello everybody, we're here with Ashley and Cody who just closed on their new home. Congratulations, both of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Ashley, you are an eighth grade teacher over at Oak Hammock. I am. And Cody, you are in, no, no, you're I'm not. in sales. In sales, okay, yeah. perfect. What would you tell your colleagues, friends, family, uh, what it's like to use Teachers Can Buy Homes to buy a home? Well, let me first start by saying that we tried to buy a home back in 2020 when the housing market was relatively cheaper and we got denied after we were already approved and the process was it was very difficult trying to navigate by ourselves and then uh we found ed on the teachers can buy home website and he streamlined everything we told him exactly what we wanted and we were able to find the home within the first tour of of all the homes ed had picked out and we signed put our paperwork down and we we finished within two months and now we're moving in it was so fast and there was nothing that ed didn't tell us was was coming yeah he made uh every part of the process really painless you know he was always there for questions you know which is important when you're buying a home so uh he definitely ed is a man you don't Even know at nine o'clock at night ten o'clock at night yeah, no time. <laughs> i'm on teacher time that's when you guys are free it's like after five can't call during school days um explain one thing there are a lot of people who get approved approved with quotation marks around it but aren't really approved uh, what was that like when they tell you you're approved and then you just get denied later uh it, go ahead so my credit was very low i think it was like 4.99 um my debt to income ratio was extremely high because my student loans like a lot of other teachers um we were just scraping by um thinking that we finally made it we were able to, to get our house and then they wanted us to uh, to pay, I think, $20,000 extra down in order to cover my debt-to-income ratio, which is impossible as a teacher. So we ended up uh, losing that house, but I called Ed about a year later, and we tried to uh, go over what went wrong with that sale, and he told me how to fix our credit. I think it was a two-and-a-half-hour conversation. He went over everything with me. And that and was a year before we bought. That was a year before yeah, we were even clients. Getting, that was just getting everything ready. You yeah. Know, so. so we had that conversation. I worked for the next year on me and my husband's credit and we got our scores up into like around the 700s and we were ready to buy a house. And Ed, Ed remembered me when I called back. From the minute we called him saying that we were ready, we bought and are closed on the house now, what, two two months later? Two months later. It's yep. so months crazy. Later. So. so all you have to do is just do do what we tell you, do what you're told, <laughs> and your credit can go up. Uh, sometimes I've fixed credit. The most I got was 180 points in three months. Um, sometimes you just need to be more prepared. You might want to buy a house, but you may not be financially ready to buy a house. And Absolutely. that's a common thing. So, well, thank you for all those kind words uh, about me and the Teachers Come By Homes program. As you know, Teachers Come By Homes loves to donate money. Our uh, goal is to hit a quarter million, and we fund from the ground up, not the district down, because it usually doesn't come to the, to the teachers. So I'm going to go to Oak Hammock with a donation check to your school. And where would you like that money to go to? Definitely into the science department. I know my science team would love to get another field trip in for this school year. But you get the money, not your whole team. They don't get the benefit from you. Oh, no, they, make... oh, no, we are a team. Oh, okay. We are a team. We're gonna, if we yeah, go, we're going enough. together. Yep. Perfect. Going together. <laughs> <laughs> then that's for eighth grade science. Eighth grade science. Awesome. Well, very good. Well, we'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks now that my I have a car. <laughs> Hurricane kind of took care of that. We'll be dating this video here. But um, any other, uh, one question I like to ask everyone. First time owning a home. What's it feel like? You own a home. It oh feels God. so, I feel free. I feel like I don't get, uh, there's nothing that's going to come in the mail saying that my rent's going to rise $500. 30 days there's, at any time. Like, I just feel free and I feel free for my kids. I feel safe. Yeah. I feel like our kids finally have a safe, like stable home. So. Perfect. Well, guys, thank you again. Great your story. Thank you for sharing all that to everyone on the video here. And um, we'll be talking again. <laughs> all right, no problem, man. Thanks, Ed.